The image object counter app is used to identify objects on an image by measuring their characteristics. To get started, click on the app icon to open the dialog. The left panel handles operations performed on the image. There are four default operations listed, source, gray, count objects, and output quantities. Let's start by selecting the source operation. On the right panel, select choose image, and I will select cell from my folder to load the source image. Now first select the gray operation. This operation converts the image to gray scale. Now select insert and select threshold to insert the threshold operation after the gray operation. On the threshold panel, change threshold type to binary inverted. There are some empty spaces inside each cell. You can scroll the mouse wheel to zoom in the preview if needed. To fill the holes, simply choose Fill Hole by Morphology. Now click the rightmost button at the top right corner to fit the image. Now we need to filter out the impurities and partial cells. Since the area of impurities is much smaller than cells, we can choose Filter Objects by Area. Let's set the threshold value to 10,000 to filter out all objects that have a smaller area than 10,000 pixels. Now select count objects. The number of found objects shows 6. To circle objects with red lines, change object marker to red and change the object border width to 3. Now I can select output quantities to choose which quantities I would like to output. You can also save these settings for future years. For example, I will select Save Settings to Image. Now make sure the output image is checked and when clicking the output results button, it will create a workbook with the measurement results. For example, the centroid X and centroid Y, the area, and other properties. You can as well view the image with the added red object markers. If we reactivate the source image window and open the image object counter dialog again, the saved operations will be loaded automatically.